For river fishing, I have been using Hanak reels for a number of years and they've served me very well. But this season, courtesy of Hanak competition, I've been using the Hanak Superb 13. And in this video, I want to share how it's performed this season and my final thoughts on the reel. So, without further ado, Let's get into Reels it. Reels for me have always been about the practicality of holding fly lines. And when I only did lock style fishing, what I wanted was cheap spare spools. Still water anglers carry an awful lot of lines and cost is a real factor when it comes to spools. Anything other than a cassette type spool and reel would be folly cost wise. With river fishing though, you can probably get away with one reel and a spare spool, depending on how you like to set up. I mostly set up two rods when I visit the river, a nymphing rod and a dry fly rod. So, the Hanak Superb 13. Aesthetically, it has really upped the game from the earlier Hanak reels that I have used, and it comes in a smart matte olive colour. This is the smaller of the series, and it comes in another model, a 35, which would suit a heavier outfit. So where does the reel sit in terms of pecking order? I would say this is not a beginner's fly reel, you know, if you're just starting out, you maybe want to try something a little cheaper to see if you're going to enjoy the sport. But very soon, you want to have better equipment. I would place this from intermediate to the professional bracket. It is priced around £150, which I think is very competitive for the standard of reel that it is. It always makes me smile when I do reviews and I mention the price. Everyone has a different budget for their hobbies, obsessions. The way I think about it is, I have a VW up, it gets me from A to B. Now, if I owned a Bentley, it would also get me from A to B. So what am I trying to say here? Uh, both cars do the same job, but I think I'd be a lot happier in a Bentley. It's no different than fishing tackle. You can buy an item of fishing equipment, and the prices will differ hugely in some cases. You have to decide what your needs versus your budget can achieve. Anyway, I'm in danger of going down a rabbit hole. Let's get back to the reel. It is clearly a reel designed for the modern Euro nymphing techniques with its ultra large arbor. It is made from a combination of high grade aluminium and stainless steel. Why a large arbor for Euro nymphing? On smaller arbors then, the line, fly line and French leader, whichever you choose to use, coils a lot tighter spools, causing it to snake when you pull the fly line out. You might notice when you're um, using your floating line, especially in the winter months, the coils tend to really um, stay in the line. When you cast your line across the water, you'll see it snake out in a, in a wavy fashion. And we certainly don't want that for a Euronymphing technique. Now with a larger arbor reel, this helps eliminate that tight coiling. So the large arbor then, it helps eliminate tangles and prevents damage to your fly line or French leader in my case. Another benefit then of having the large arbor is the speed in which the line is retrieved when you reel in. So when you reel in your line, it collects onto the spool much quicker than a smaller arbor reel would achieve. Now, so what? The, the so what is, if you're lucky enough to get into a really good fish, then the last thing you want is loose fly line or leader around your chest, pack or waistcoat, as the case may be, and the fish bolts, something gets caught on your, your snips or your forceps, and the fish just pings off because you've you've had loose line lying around. So when you get into a good fish, I would always advise you get onto the reel very quickly. Now most of the time, certainly the size of fish I'm targeting on three weights, uh, it's not a big deal, I've got to be honest. And uh, people always talk about the drag and you don't, you don't really care about the drag until you need the drag. And uh, I've had that on a few occasions while using this reel. Uh, in Slovenia, I was catching bigger than the fish I would be targeting back home. And the, the drag really showed itself to be excellent. It's got a very slow inertia starting up. 
and it's very smooth once it gets going. Now the, the reel is a closed cage design and this is very important for Euronymphing techniques. I've fallen foul of reels that looked really good but they didn't have a closed cage. My line would get stuck in between the parts where the spool joins the reel and the longer and more delicate leaders that are becoming ever more popular here in Europe uh, get damaged very easily so it's important to have a fully closed cased reel. Smooth function is achieved by two ball bearings in combination with a super roller bearing, whatever that means. With a price tag of £150 it does have a lot of competition from other brands but after using it for a season I think that this reel has enough quality to warrant your consideration if you're in the market for this kind of reel. I can thoroughly recommend this reel. Only you know what your budget is. So if what you are willing to spend includes this price point, it should definitely be on your shortlist. It's your money and I would always recommend getting your hands on one before parting with your hard earned cash. Well, I'm just going to broach the subject of a Bentley with my wife. Wish me luck and I'll see you in the next one.